Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. As we begin a new month, welcome to this new month. And you know, what the Lord wants me to do for you today is to release a blessing upon your life. And that will be the focus of today's devotion. And just to pray for you. And the major blessing that God wants to release upon your life is the blessing of rest and peace. Because that is one thing that God desires to do. He desires to give us rest on every side. And that is actually where you ought to be. The Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 2 he says speak comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished and that her iniquity is pardoned for she has received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins this is where you want to always be where your warfare is accomplished and your iniquity pardoned and you see if you go to the scripture you see that you know God was constantly giving his people rest if you look at Israel under Joshua the Bible says in Joshua 21 44 he said the Lord gave them rest on every side just as he had solemnly promised their ancestors none of their enemies could stand against them but the Lord helped them conquer all their enemies this is God giving Israel rest under Joshua but at the end of Joshua's life the Bible tells us in Joshua 23 verse 1 he said the years passed and the Lord had given the people rest from all their enemies Joshua was now very old that's what the Bible says so from the beginning of his ministry God kept on giving them rest and peace on every side and at the end he had the same testimony if you also look at Israel under the reign of Solomon the Bible tells us in 1 Kings chapter 5 verse 4 he said but now the Lord Lord my God has given me peace on every side. I have no enemies and all is well. Hallelujah. And that will be your situation. That's what God wants you to release in this last three months of the year. Israel also under Jehoshaphat in 2 Chronicles 20, 30, the Bible tells us, so Jehoshaphat's kingdom was at peace for his God had given him rest on every side. If you take a look at the beloved David in 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 1, God also gave him the same blessing. He said when King David had settled in his palace and the Lord had given him rest from all the surrounding enemies. So God can actually give you rest from your enemies. If you take a look at Psalm, it declares what the Lord does on a regular. He says in Psalm 147 verse 14, he says, he makes peace in thy borders and fill it deep with the finest of wit. In the time of the judges, there's a judge called Oteniel. And the Bible tells us in Judges chapter 3 verse 10 that the spirit of the Lord came upon him, that's Oteniel, and he became Israel's judge. He went to wage war against the king of Kushan, Rijam of Aram, and Lord gave Oteniel victory over him. So there was peace in the land for 40 years. Then Oteniel, the son of Kenaz, died. So for 40 years under this judge, because he was a judge, he was really a king the Bible says for 40 years there was peace all around so the people were healthy they were financially strong there were no demonic oppressions even though demons would try to harass them through other nations the Bible says that there was just peace that was released their marriages and everything around them there was peace spoken about them then there was another king again under Israel his name was Ehud also a judge and the bible tells us in verse 30 of judges chapter 3 it says so moab was conquered by israel that day and there was peace in the land for 80 years the person that was leading him at that time is a judge called ehud again if you look at israel under the reign of gideon the bible tells us in judges chapter 8 verse 28 he said this is the story of how the people of israel defeated midian which never recovered throughout the rest of gideon's lifetime for about 40 years there was peace in the land so from king to king from judges to judges there were seasons of 80 years 40 years 20 years that god gave israel peace let's jump to the new testament and then we're going to pray if you look at the early church they also experienced this blessing from the lord in acts 9 31 the bible says the church had peace throughout judea galilee and samaria and it became stronger as the believers lived in the fear of the lord and with the 
encouragement of the Holy Spirit, they also grew in numbers. And then let's take one more example before we pray. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7, it says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So it is pretty obvious that one of the blessings that God can release on his people is the blessing of peace on every side, rest on every side. So we're going to release that blessing upon your life and it will carry you up all through the year and even beyond. That is the instruction that the Lord has said we should do today. Father, we thank you so much for your your blessings that money cannot buy. We thank you for your blessing that the enemy cannot give us, Lord. Father, it is only you and you alone that can give us this blessing. Father, it is the blessing of peace, Lord. Man cannot give it to us. No other person can give us rest on every side except you. And so, Lord, I ask, Father, that your peace will rest upon your people. That, Lord, you give them peace on every side. In the name of Jesus, peace in their health, oh God. Lord, peace in their marriages, in their academics, Lord, in their business, please, in every area of their lives, in the name of Jesus. Every storm that is rising against your life and against your destiny, I command it now to shut down in the name of Jesus. The arrows of darkness be thrown in your direction. We break it now in the name of Jesus. The Lord gives you rest on every side. In the name of Jesus. The blessing of the Lord surrounds you in the name of Jesus. As long as you are a child of God, walking in righteousness and peace, the Bible declares that you will experience the peace of the Lord in the name of Jesus. May this last three months of the year be the year where God will grant you peace on every side. Though men fall on your left and your right, it will not come near your dwelling because you are a child of God and because you fear the Lord. Father, I thank you as you clothe your people even this season in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God praise for you will have peace on every side. Now in the month of October, our devotional will be focused on you. What does that mean? Now perhaps there are questions you want to ask. You read the Bible. There's something you didn't understand from the Bible or maybe something you've heard from the devotional you were not very clear on and you want to ask those questions or something has bothered you about God, bothered you about the scripture, bothered you about something about life that you want clarification on from the scripture, the month of October, we're going to be answering all your questions. So what I want you to do is send me an email asking your question and then I'm going to take one question per day throughout the month of October. Anything that you need clarity on as far as it concerns the scripture, you want clarity on it. Either something you've said on devotional or something you just read and you were not quite clear on that chapter or that verse or why this happened or why that happened from the scripture. So it's going to be focused on giving you, you know, those answers from the scripture. That's what we're going to do. So the email address is questions at mentorsjournal.com spelled Q-U-E-S-T-I-O-N-S at M-E-N-T-O-R-S-J-O-U-R-N-A-L.com. You can also copy the other email, counselingbts at gmail.com, spelled C-O-U-N-S-E-L-L-I-N-G-B-T-S at gmail.com. I get it and we'll be able to respond to your questions or your spiritual questions at my city place version in the month of October. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. For other life-changing messages, you can now download the app Rev Oyik Speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube and Telegram, all on the handle Oyik's Alfred. Alfred.